Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. In our previous video we built a retro mining server with a Gigabyte P35 Socket 775 motherboard and we wanted to see how well it mined with three RX 588 gig graphics cards. The motherboard that was running in that server was a Gigabyte H110 D3A motherboard which could handle six graphics cards. We decided to remove that motherboard as we weren't going to buy any more RX 588 gig graphics cards. And we used the Gigabyte P35 Socket 775 motherboard as it could handle four graphics cards. We also wanted to see if there was any performance issues with running an older motherboard with the Socket 775 CPU. On that board we were running a Core 2 DO CPU and 4 gigs of DDR2 memory. It took a while to test some stable benchmarks on that motherboard, but we got to a point where it was actually running stable. In that server we were running 3 RX 588 gigs, 1 power color graphics card and 2 ACES. When we were running the Gigabyte H110 D3A motherboard, we were getting just under 92 megahash per second at 424 watts. I found the most stable overclocks for this motherboard for these three graphics cards and we're getting just over 93 megahash. And as you can see it has been running stable. There has been in the last 24 hours two drops but the server has restarted and continued at 93 megahash per second. The most stable overclocks for these three graphics cards were the core clock for all three is at 1150, the memory on all three is at 2200, the core undervolt for the power color was at 850, and the ASUS I put at 900. We couldn't get the ASUS RX 580s 8 gigs to run at 850. So we left them at 900 for stability. And as you can see, the results shows that you can actually mine on older motherboards and not lose any performance, which is great news if you have an old motherboard laying at home, where you know that there's no issue with the motherboard and you're not getting any errors on the memory. As I said before, graphics cards, power supplies and risers I would recommend you buying them brand new as you do have a warranty if anything goes wrong. Hope you enjoyed this video and that it was insightful. Please leave a comment down below of your thoughts. Let me know if you're mining with an older motherboard. I know everyone doesn't have money to just fork out on hardware to build a mining server. So it was a good test to see if you can mine with older equipment. I will try running Windows on this mining server and see if it actually works. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.